two, one, go. Well, welcome back or welcome to Junior Jones Coach. I'm Cece, and today we're going to be doing a little bit harder trampoline skills. So let's get to it. Off with a back handspring. Now we're gonna do back handsprings. Um, when people don't get as much coaching, when the back handspring, they still might know how to do them, but they usually don't start in that side. Like they jump like this and do that. But in reality, you're supposed to do this, squat, and then do it. And then you're supposed to do it. You wanna go straight up and then down. And you can step out, but you're not supposed to. It's called a backhand step out. Uh, or walk out. And so, keep your legs together. And you might want to squeeze both time and don't throw your arms back. And you want to slant a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Now we're going to be doing backflips. And in a backflip, you want to, you kind of want to not shoot out. You want to shoot up. And once you feel yourself go up, turn, then you're done. Like this, this is your backflip. You don't want to shoot out. Shoot up, go down. And in a backflip, say I start in the middle, I shouldn't end up all the way over here. Unless I accidentally fling at the end. So you stay in about this much length like of your wingspan. I'm short, so I don't have that big of a wingspan. And so now we're going to show you how to do it. When you do it, you want to go up, right? Um, you can double at them, but it's better to stay in one place like this. Like stay steady. And in the end. And when you do it, a lot of times, you don't want to tuck, but it looks better if you tuck or you don't tuck at all. So, can you do it? Can you tuck? Or don't tuck. But don't tucking makes you go farther. Doesn't look as good. So you need a lot of practice if you're not gonna tuck. Now we're gonna review the basics. And such as round offs, Bounders. I don't have enough room for front handsprings. Um, my hair is trampoline-y, and so we're going to be reviewing that. And so, so we're going to do the basics now. Starting off with a round off. With this size of trampoline, you can't really like run. There's in a round off. You have to run, hurdle, and do it. But there's not as much space on my trampoline. So we're just gonna do low hurdle, jump with your feet, like that. Um, you don't, if you stay on the edge of your trampoline, you don't cut it in out as far as you can. So we're gonna be doing round offs. And when you do a round off, you don't want to shoot out as far as you think. So you want to go about this far. But we don't have enough space on our trampoline because it's a little bit, it's a big trampoline, but it's not like long. But uh, you need to like run and hurdle and do it. Uh, but we're just gonna be doing normal round offs. Well, they're not normal, but still. Um, without a hurdle, 
And so when you do Rhonda, this is just reviewing. This isn't really it, but Your legs shoot out farther than your arms. That's it to round off. And now we're gonna be doing boundaries. These are kind of easy. They're kind of like front and handsprings, but you don't need to run and hurdle into it. So you jump with two feet or straight your back. So you kind of keep jump up, down, up. And now, um, right. Um, these are a little bit different than rounders. They're not the backhand springs. Kind of in between. So, just like this, like that. You don't really squeeze your legs as much and your arms don't have to be so it's just like but the end you want to squeeze and that's the beginning and so I'm not sure what that's called but that is that <laughs>